my lovelies i hope you're all well so today i wanted to show you how you can create multiple layers from a single layer draw item on ios app so that's your ipad or iphone so first thing it's a single layer image if i go to contour you'll see that there's no remove all contours like there is for desktop so we need to take away anything that we don't want. Because we can line everything up perfectly on iOS, we don't need to create the multiple layers. So what I'm going to do first is just zoom in and remove everything but the outline of my trees. And I do find on iPad or iPhone, if you zoom right in, it does make it easier to remove or add your elements. So I've removed everything but the outline of my trees. So I can close contour down just by clicking on my canvas. I'm going to come to edit. Next to pen, I'm gonna select the color option. I can of course change the type of pen, not that the machine will know which one I'm putting in, whether it be an extra fine or a marker or a glitter, but it will ask me for a colour and I do want to go with the colours that I would use. So let's choose a green and apply. What I'm going to do now is come to actions and duplicate and I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to place it directly on top so that they are perfectly lined up. If I open up contour on this layer, rather than having to keep taking everything away, what I'm going to do this time is remove the outline of the trees. If I try and remove this last one, it won't let me. So I need to bring something back before I can remove that one. So this time I'm going to bring back each of my stars and once I've brought back one of them I can get rid of that tree outline. And I can also change the colour. Let's go with the gold. If I now duplicate that layer and again sit it perfectly on top I can open up my contour, I can take away my star elements and I'm just going to bring back the inside of these tree pieces and then get rid of this star and again I can go to edit and change the colour. Again I can duplicate and then line that up perfectly. Open up my contour and this time I'm going to do all the little baubles and I'm going to do the bows and the ribbons on my presents and my little candy canes as well and I can get rid of the inside of my trees. I can click on my canvas and again, go to edit and change the pen colour. Again, I'm going to duplicate that layer and get them lined up perfectly. Open up my contour. I can start removing my previous layer and I'm going to bring back all of these little tinselly bits and do the outside of my GIFs. Again, if I go to edit, I can change the colour. 
we're going to go with the silver. If I then duplicate that layer and again sit them perfectly on top of each other, I can open up the contour and this time I'm going to bring back my stars and get rid of my previous layer pieces. And as I say, if you zoom right in, it does make it easier to select the areas that you want to. I'm then going to edit, pen, and we can then choose a colour. Finally, I'm going to duplicate that layer and again sit it perfectly on top, like so. Open up my contour, bring back my tree trunks and then get rid of my stars. And it, the great thing about this is that you're doing it layer by layer and you're not having to constantly remove everything. Because we can line it up perfectly on the iOS app, again, that's iPad or iPhone, it means that we can get everything exactly in its correct position, but we don't have to duplicate all of the layers at the start and then we don't have to remove everything one by one because we don't have that hide all contours on the iOS app. I can then go to edit and change the colour on my tree trunks. And there we go. We have then created multi-layer drawings on the iOS app pretty easy and pretty quickly. Don't forget with the pen we need to draw around everything go to actions and attach it so that when we go to make it, it will draw it exactly as we see it. It lasts for green pen, gold pen, yellow pen, red pen, silver pen, and whatever other colours you've selected. As always, I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.